Hey, what's up guys? Gerard here with another shave video. Today we're going to be shaving with Taylor of Old Bond Street Grapefruit Shaving Cream. And so, um, obviously by the name, this is a cream soap. Um, it's an English-made soap and it's uh, fantastic. So the big note that we're obviously going to be going on here by the title is grapefruit. And so, um, you know, there's, I'm sure there's probably a couple of other discernible scents, but if you're buying this, you're buying it for one reason, and that's the grapefruit. Very, um, it smells like, like a fresh grapefruit. It doesn't smell like a grapefruit candy uh, or anything like that. Um, it's one big note. Um, it's also easy, like, if you can, I don't know if it'll pick up, but you can see, like, how kind of definitely creamy it is. And so I'm going to be using that today. I'm going to be also finishing it off with Chateau and Lux uh, Tom Sock. Um, this is a, I believe it's cedar, juniper, uh, and menthol aftershave. Um, it's a witch hazel base. Um, it's a fantastic aftershave. I'm sure it's going to feel great with that cooling grapefruit. And then I'm going to be using that with West Coast Shaving Titanium Edition, the multicolor, um, multicolor handle and head. Uh, I got an Astro Blade on its second shave in here. And then bringing it all together, I'm actually going to be using a new item uh, that I won recently. This is the West Coast Shaving uh, Deranged Edition uh, brush with a uh, silver tip badger head. Um, I actually won this. There was a meetup um, about a week ago in Riverside, and there's about like 30, 35 people out there. Um, if you've never gone to a meetup, um, you know, I would highly encourage you to. It's a great way to just not just come and meet people, grab a bite to eat, but um, they had a raffle, and one of the items was actually the deranged handle, and I won the raffle for it, and I just picked up the 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 knot on my own and so it's uh got this nice bad boy on here looking forward to using it so here we go um what i'm gonna do is some people you know like with cream soaps they might like dip it a little bit kind of develop the lather that way they might scoop a little bit like directly into the brush but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just put a little directly on here on my face already um and kind of just like wet the brush and the lather from there and then, um, it's been a couple of days since my last shave, so we'll kind of see. I um, actually don't typically do it like this. I might be overdoing it. Some people are probably just like, dude, you're just going savage on it. But I can always add more. I can remember for next time as well. So I'm just going to kind of like lightly um, wet the brush. We'll kind of and see how much... Yeah, this thing just holds a lot of water. Okay, and so and we're just going to kind of like work our way into it and see what we got. This is a 28 millimeter knot. And yeah, you can, as I kind of go in there, you can already see it. Nothing quite nice. I'm going to put a little bit more water kind of in the brush, uh, see if that'll work, help develop it a little bit more. Not a lot, just kind of like a few like drops here and there, just to kind of get a little bit more of these hairs a little bit more hydrated. Just very little. Oh yeah. And you can see it's just coming up really nicely. I'm just going to work on it on this side, and you can already see just kind of thickness very slick, very hydrating. I believe it's a vegan base, but it's so nice to just kind of get on here. Yeah. But 
you know, as you can see, I didn't put any um, cream onto the brush itself, and we're just we just got so much. Well, this side's not really, but you can just kind of see in there just how much you know soap we can get, and just really, really coat it in there. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Um, if you've seen my videos before, um, I've used the West Coast shaving uh, handle uh, with different blades, but I'm on Astra's right now. Just a very, very nice shave. Smooth. Um, I did take a shower before this to allow my skin and hairs to really prick up and wonderful slickness. Glides fantastic. And that scent of just fresh grapefruits like I'm in the garden right now. Really wonderful. But yeah, um, kind of going back, talking about the, the meetup. Um, there was a, a meetup uh, here in Southern California in Riverside um, uh, last week, uh, near the end of September. It would be the 22nd, I believe, uh, 21st, 22nd. Um, and yeah, um, everyone that, that came, you know, like the nice part about meetups and, and things like that is that, um, you know, there was a PIF table, a pay it forward table. Maybe you had a soap that um, you didn't really care for, it wasn't quite what you were expecting, or maybe you got it, you picked it up and, and you want to just pay it forward to someone. You could bring those. Um, West Coast Shaving was there. Uh, they had a few more of their of their new products. They had um, um, as well their their brushes, some straight razors. Um, some other vendors were there too. Everyone was getting you know um, a uh, a gift bag with with various uh, various samples and, and generous samples by by that way. And um, it was just a fantastic time. So if you're ever um, thinking about it, there were first timers there, people who have gone to them before, and everyone had a blast. Everyone walked out with something, um, you know, maybe not a raffle, but they, they got more than enough in terms of like the, the giveaways from the fifth, fifth table or the raffle that they did. And I would very much, uh, very much uh, approve people visiting you know meet other wet shavers maybe pick up a new trick or two find yourself uh learn about maybe a new blade a new razor that someone else had someone else maybe has similar like hair growth to you like thickness or coarseness Um, it's a great shave actually. I'm just really, really happy with this. This is actually also the first time I've used the, um, this deranged edition brush. Um, because when I won it uh, in the raffle, yeah, it, it didn't come with a knot. So I ordered it, got it a couple days ago, and then applied it. Maybe, you know, maybe a little bit. I think that kind of went too far, but there we go. I didn't apply any extra cream to this. This is kind of what everything that's left over, even everything, stuff I squeezed out.
Perfect. Just kind of going over everything. You can feel it. Oh, yeah. Hear it nicely. My hair growth, um, maybe it's been a while, or maybe this is your first time seeing like one of my videos. Um, my hair is pretty coarse, but it's not terrible to where I can, you know, I can I can get pretty good shaves pretty easily. <sighs> nice. So. Chatelon Lux um, Tom's Soak, uh, Sock, um, is actually named after the highest uh, elevated point in, in Missouri. Uh, I believe that's where they're based out of, uh, in St. Louis. And so, like I mentioned earlier, this is um, notes, it's a witch hazel base with notes of cedar, and juniper, and menthol. So, with like a nice citrusy, um, shave you want something kind of nice and cooling unless you have like something like a grapefruit shape but mm. 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 yeah okay um menthol well i'm getting hits of the cedar and juniper um straight off um the menthol is not necessarily a scent in this um like it's not prominent but after about maybe five or six seconds, definitely feeling it. And so with that witch hazel um, base, it's definitely more like, um, it's more soothing. It's not, not burning at all, like an uh, alcohol based shave, but very much complements uh, the grapefruit as well. So nice job. Um, but that was it guys. Um, like I said, if, if you enjoyed this, um, you know, Please uh, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you have any comments, comment down below. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Peace.